Good afternoon, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Saturday, November 4th at 2.05 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017, giving you a seismic update. We've had some interesting seismic activity, including a cluster down here by Samoa, which is very reminiscent of the New Caledonia cluster in the just of last few days. We have hydrothermal activity in the Long Valley Caldera. We also have some Yellowstone activity and a major earthquake in Thermopolis, which is unprecedented. And I mean that because if we come check the geologic map and the geologic history of Montana, we're going to find that there's never even been an earthquake in this area. And the magnitude that it popped off at is unprecedented. It's the largest earthquake in this area in five years, and it's the second largest in 35 years, the third largest in recorded history. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's talk quick about the Samoan earthquakes. There is a stack of them. And there's lots of reporting. First of all, let's go to Samoa and look and see that there were 189 deaths at the 2009 earthquake. There have been three large earthquakes, one in 1917, one in 1977. So the 1917 quake is happening right here during the Dalton minimum. The 1977 quake is happening here on the drop off of cycle 20. And now we're having seismic activity off of 24. So, based on the cosmic ray theory, um, let's go over here and check the cosmic ray flux for the last few days. We had a 3% spike during the first and second, and it's coming back up. So, we had a high cosmic ray spike that may have activated the subsurface, and now we're seeing the hydrothermal areas on Earth react days later. That's my hypothesis. I'll leave you links to all of this. The 2009 Samoa earthquake, the, 20, the 1917 Samoa. Here's a list of the uh, most recent quakes in Samoa. You can see the 7.899 years ago. You can come see the, today's activity down here. And I'll leave you links to that. So here was the 6.8 we had 11 hours ago. And then the subsequent aftershocks, uh, 5.6, 5.8, 5.4. I'll leave you links all around the same depth. We also had this moderate earthquake in Thermopolis. And let's come over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as hydrothermal activity and seismic activity. So if we come into the Long Valley Caldera area, first of all, here's the Thermopolis quake in Wyoming. Here's Yellowstone activity. We have activity at the volcanoes. And we have an uptick in the Long Valley Caldera area. In fact, there's a swarm here of over 30 quakes, plus another 30 over here. That's a heads up in Long Valley. There's been 100 quakes today in this area, and one just popped off. Let's go over to the Thermopolis quake. And I believe this has to do with the cosmic rays heating the subsurface, the bubble muon hypothesis. This is a very rare quake here we're looking at. Here's the Yellowstone activity, and... Here's the article in the shake map. I'll leave you links. So here's the Thermopolis quake. We had a 4.2 21 hours ago. And here are the, here's a 4.8 a year ago. That's the second largest quake in this area. And here's the list of historic quakes near Warland. And you can see the 4.2. 2017 is coming in historically as the third, fourth, fifth, eighth largest quake in the area. If you go to the historic earthquakes in Wyoming map, you'll see that there isn't even an earthquake that's ever happened in this area, which is very interesting and anomalous. However, the Oregon fault thrust right here in the middle, this is what you're looking at is the Wyoming geologic map, is where the fault or is where the quake happened. So it is on a fault. It is in a hydrothermal area, Thermopolis. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. And it's right on the edge of the Bighorn Basin here near the Oregon Basin Fault. I'll leave you links to this paper. It's an entire publication, The Mineral Resources of the Cedar Mountain Wilderness, which is in that area. I'll leave you links to the Clarkson Valley, Montana earthquake, Wyoming State Geological Survey, Montana earthquake of June 27, 1925. It's a great paper. And this... So remember, guys, we've had an uptick 
in cosmic rays over the last several days. And these geothermal areas in North America and around the world are reacting because of the bubble muon hypothesis. I'll leave you links to the geothermal resource potential. I'm down here by us red dot. And this is where the Thermopolis quake happened here by this red dot. And then the Yellowstone Acteria is by this big red dot. And the Long Valley Caldera, Caldera is by these red dots. So we have seismic uptick across the globe, heating up the subsurface, and hydrothermal areas are popping off. That's a heads up, guys. We're monitoring it, and we'll update as need. Be safe.